the morning from sleepy, sleepy James. He just had his two month pediatrician visit. He got two different vaccines, the pneumococcal and the DTaP and the rotavirus strain. So he had a very exhausting morning. He did so, so, so good. He weighs just under 11 pounds, 22 and three quarter inches and big old noggin. noggin. His head is still in the 99th percentile. Did you see the video we just watched? <laughs> So it's less than an hour before Epcot closes, but we just got here. Yes. Because of <laughs> that video that we posted yesterday. Yes. So if you haven't seen it, I'll link it here. But in short, we're moving back to Chicago. And that's why the past couple of days have been extra crazy and lacking thereof on our channel. Well, but like, I also have had a really crazy time at work. True. After the holiday, coming back, you know, all that good stuff. But. What do you do when you have a lot going on? You go and you stroll. You drop around all of your traffic. responsibilities and walk around. See, up. we're the same brook cards. It's just we're having meaning to be moving to Chicago. And, in a, and in a couple months from now, I'll be like, you know what you do when you're stressed <laughs> and have all these responsibilities? You just go walk like store drive. Exactly. But we were greeted by something awesome. Peter just saw a shooting star. Look at this. January 8th, the Epcot Fountain at night. Tara just stand here and listen to the Finding Nemo music. Because we do. And more signage. Look at this Epcot rainbow. Um, Carolyn Earhart, now that the cat's on the back, the Earhart's have known us for a little bit now that we're thinking about moving. Carolyn and I are gonna get that tattooed. I think one of the our first visit to Michigan after we moved back, we should go to Salvatore Earhart to, to Brookhart trip and each of get our own tattoos. Ah! Um, we also haven't gotten our camera back from the Petruses. We're going after. But this. we're going after this. So guys, it's been stressful. I've had a very busy work week, but on top of that, like literally, we spent so many hours searching for apartments. Right. Since like Saturday Sunday. Right. So, I mean, we've talked to a couple, nothing set in stone yet, but it's like heavy, heavy stuff, but so worth it. Like, do we go on a high rise in a loop in a closet or do we go closer to Wrigleyville and Boys Town where we used to live? There's so many with options. more area. Yeah. So that's like, we're starting that process, but we also have to remind ourselves that we need to soak up our time here. And we just like are peaceful here. So it's nice to like get away and then back to the grind. I just told Sarah I'm not moving. Oh gosh. We need to take down that vlog. <laughs> I'm just gonna live in World Showcase. Gosh, when you love two places <laughs> so much. And the tree is gone. Check it out. Do we replace Phil with Samantha? <laughs> what do you think? That is like the biggest comedic moment in Disney history. I've never laughed that hard in a theater. That's right? because it's so your humor. It is. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, so soon, just a couple days away. Also, look at this festival booth. There's a cast member sitting at that register selling nothing. It's kind of <laughs> comical. <laughs> oh, and we, we found out there's no Broadway this year, but the Voices of Liberty are going to be singing Disney music. Classics. Yes, I'm pumped for that. Do, do we have a park pass for this weekend here? Uh, no. Well, we should look into this. This stopped me dead in my tracks. Look at this ornament of the Germany Pavilion. It's one of our favorite pavilions. If they have these for all of the pavilions, we need them all. It's so beautiful and detailed and I just love it. Oktoberfest snacks. Some other shoes without a line. Right? <laughs> now scream! I mean, <laughs> Peter's family had this in their bathroom. Until we <laughs> Strike your best Mona Lisa smile. 
awkward when you're wearing a mask. <laughs> or is that the ultimate Mona Lisa smile? Oh. If she could be wearing a mask, would she? She so would. What do you do with only five minutes left in Epcot's operating hours? Sneak into one of the busiest <laughs> stores in World Showcase because you know it's, it's going to be empty. It does not look busy right now. Peter, this is your favorite shop. Show us your favorite part. Oh. Look how bright it is. <laughs> What's your favorite part? I feel like it's like that, that section. It's a smooth. Oh, it is smooth. <laughs> I feel like. Case back here. Those are fancy. We used to build those little Gundams. Yeah. I'll show you my favorite section. It's the utensils and little bento boxes and little cups. What is this? This is cute. I, I love these. What are those? Different kinds of sponges to clean water bottles. Oh. Um, we did not know these pretty snowflake lights were in France. Can we come soon? My hands parted. And get a baguette and coffee. Yes. And give dirty looks to people because we're French. Yes. Just kidding. But the baguette and coffee are really like it. Yes. We love the French. We do. Don't break my heart. There's like a little festival corridor. I this was like. Me too. It's our favorite. It is our favorite festival. And it's kind of nice that it's like the one that we're going out on. This baby is asleep the whole time. This baby is asleep the whole time. Goodbye. <laughs> and this is right by test track it's a little setup you want to know what? what we went to the festival of the arts when it was at downtown disney look at the men ricks oh gosh <laughs> but this is kind of cool and fun a little just like dedicated area oh and we got a park pass for friday opening day we yeah i don't know if sarah's getting this shot right now but the changing lights are shot being shown on Spaceship Earth. I'm trying to see if you can see it in this camera. But you can see like the changing colors. Wow, I didn't realize that. But you can see like the, the glimmering. Yeah, Neither glimmering, shimmering. Oh snap, not the best Magic Kingdom parade. Oh, all I that Main Street Electric Parade for the win. Spectre Magic. It's not open. Take two. Don't ever ask me to pick up a box from your Luxor auto box thing because that's how I'm going to sign your name. I had to get this for the Petruses before I dropped it off in their apartment. Uh, our camera. I'm sorry we forgot you, old friend. We also have news to tell you. Uh, we made it public. We're moving to Chicago. Side note for anybody who wants to ask me to house sit for you, don't house sit and then leave an entire bin of holiday cookies because without even asking, this is what happens. Sorry, Megan and Katie, but Merry Christmas. If you're wondering how the massive container of kosher pickles was, was doing, uh, this is how, how we're looking. Uh, we're about four in, so. I brought it out for dinner yesterday. I'm like, you do realize how obnoxious this is, don't you? And I said, you do realize who you married. Look at this cozy kid, still relaxing. He had a pretty tough day getting his shots and being poked and prodded. How's it going over there, Daddy O? He's been working. I reduced the file by like 20 fold. And I've been looking for apartments. It's tough because like stuff pops up every day, but we've also seen the same ones. There's so many different places. And deals. If you have any like apartment hacks or like favorite sites that you swear by, let us know. No, nobody who owns a three flat. <laughs> we've actually Lake had a View. lot of good luck with Craigslist. Every Lakeview is the area that we would like to be, like Boys Town, East Lakeview. We would like to be in a high rise as well. Yeah. If it, was a, if it had character. Right. Basically, if you know the Chicago area, we don't want to go any further than the South Loop. South? Yeah. We don't yeah. want to go any further than Wrigley Field North. 
and then Halsted. West Halstead. Anywhere close to the lake. So huge area, very diverse neighborhood options. Very diverse, like lifestyles. Yeah, and lifestyles style. and even like character. Um, biggest thing is we need a tub and washer and dryer and unit. That's our our two big things. So yeah, I don't know how much lighter you're gonna be. Up. I'm gonna shut it down now. Shut it down. Another new girl quote. Oh, that is a later night, but I actually thought I'd be up like all night. So I'm happy with this. Nothing like going to our fake calendar. Do, do, do. I promise by the time we live in Chicago, we'll have a new calendar. So today is January. What is today? January 5th. That's right, it's Chris's birthday. Everybody say happy birthday, Christina. She had a great day. The quote of the day is a short one by Mitch Albon. Love is how you stay alive, even after you are gone. Ooh. Thanks for following along with our weird adventures today. Yeah, the camera will be back tomorrow. Yes, we, we have, have it, back. it, but just finishing it up on the phone. Our, our baby's been asleep for about seven hours. <laughs> Yes. And we're about to wake him up. What's yeah. happening on that TV? I don't know. We'll see how in the morning how it finalizes. The, um, the Georgia runoff? Senate state runoff, yeah. It's good to um, be home. <laughs> it's good to be home. <laughs> Come on, we couldn't end the vlog like that. We had to show this cute babe. What a champ. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.